The first instrument was the uh, human voice, actually. And after a while, uh, the other instruments come, like doof, like wood, like uh, uh, flute. And all forms of percussion instruments evolved from the doof. The wood was the first stringed uh, instrument, and from the wood come all uh, forms of um, stringed instruments, such as guitar, sitar, banjo, and uh, even the European lute. Uh, this is why the uh, wood is known as the father of all stringed instruments. Uh, historians differ on the time of the Oud's appearance. Uh, for example, according to some of researchers such as Subhi Anwar Rashid, the first appearance of the Oud was in Babylon. This was the uh, era of Akkad in 2350 before Christ. And the Oud after that uh, moved, has moved to Egypt. However, according to Al Farabi, one of the greatest scientists in the uh, history, uh, the Oud dates back to the days of Lamech, a sixth generation uh, after Adam, which made first appearance for the Oud uh, was 3,000 years before Christ. The Oud was played also in the sacred places, such as ancient uh, temples, and uh, the uh, players uh, of the Oud were required to have great skills since the wood uh, was fruitless. Actually, one of the greatest musicians in musical history was King David, and uh, he got the wood uh, from uh, his father, that means uh, when the Israelites already come out of Egypt, they took the wood uh, with them to the Holy Land. The other the uh, greatest wood player was Zeriab and the Farabi and uh, after Zeriab actually the musicians began to modify the wood by adding uh, uh, frets. This modification led to the creation of the guitar later. Before I knew what an ethnomusicologist was, I dreamed that I would like to do something good in the musical field. So uh, I found the wood. Uh, at the age of 15, I went to my grandfather, uh, it's called Najib, and he started to uh, teach me the makam and musical uh, stuff. My grandfather was 92 when he uh, just uh, taught me about the wood. However, to learn more and beca become like professional. I have started to attend important school uh, in Cairo, Beit al Oud al Arabi with Nasir Shamma. Uh, I start to work in Beitar al Arbi and the Alexander Library, one of the uh, most uh, uh, important and uh, uh, historical uh, libraries in the world. Uh, it was there that uh, I researched in the musical, Egyptian musical uh, field and uh, Egyptian manuscripts and other inscript manuscripts about uh, David and uh, other fields in music. At this time, I have composed various uh, styles of the music, such as uh, chamber music, Egyptian classic music, and uh, religion music. I'm actually, uh, I spent over two years uh, studying and uh, meditation uh, on David's life and ch as his character. Um, as he is such an important uh, figure in musical history and as an important musician, when I was in Hawaii and I found myself in front of the uh, uh, script uh, for Day of War, upcoming movie, uh, 
that I would create music uh, for David in it. And in my opinion, David has mixture uh, of both strength and uh, softness in his character. And he is truly the founder, uh, uh, as I believe in spiritual music. Third of all, uh, uh, I'm really uh, excited to do this project with director such as David Cunningham and we can uh, expect the great movie uh, for Day of War. I will uh, hopefully achieve a new music in many places in the United States. Um, it was in America that uh, Indian sitar and guitar and piano evolved and I hope also to add this wood to this list. Mm -hmm.